did you guys hear that um, our world population is going down? Oh, no. Oh, is it actually? I did not yeah. hear that. Is that, like, is that good news or bad news? It's a bad news because lesser people. Well, yeah, a lot of, like, populations are crashing. What about, yeah. like, overpopulation? Well, that's not happening right now. It's going, it's, like, the opposite. It's, like, a, it's this weird curve where it goes like that, and you don't want your curve to, like, come to a point. You want it to, like, flatten out. It's... It's weird. Sorry. Yeah. Because I think that's bad because, you know, in the future, in the, as a long term, the people will not born as much. It means the whole population will go down. I mean, I think that's bad. What do you guys think? I'd say that usually uh, people dying is probably not good. Uh, that's like right. a benchmark rule. Like people die, so. you know, in a natural way, but they're not repopulating. Oh, I, I just, it just clicked. I understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So more people are dying than being born, yeah. basically. Is yeah. Happening. Uh-huh. Yeah, I wonder. Uh, I wonder, like, uh, you know, if that has anything to do with uh, overseas, or if that's like an American thing. I wonder what the individual country mm. birth and death rates are. You know, I wonder who is responsible for the decline. Yeah, uh, based on what I've seen uh, on the data, um, China's population is going down rapidly. Uh, South Korea is going down rapidly. I don't know what's happening in North oh. Korea. I don't think anyone does. Yeah. <laughs> I think population is great there. Yeah, yeah that's true. Just like yeah. random numbers. Yeah, Still that's true. Um, yeah, Justin, do you have any thoughts on the lesser population? I'd say it's probably a bad thing. Yeah. We don't want to become an, an endangered, endangered species. Mm. So I want you guys to make a big family for the future. Yeah. yeah. 11. 11. Yeah, 11 kids, to, yeah. I'll have to, to one-up you. I'll, uh, I'll one donate up. my kids if you guys want. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Um, yeah, thanks for bringing up the species. Do you think uh, our human species will go ever outer planet, like out of Earth, and you know, populate into Mars or Moon or anything? I think so. Yeah. Um, probably start with the Moon. I think moon. that's what they're trying to do. Why not Mars? Because I think uh, SpaceX is trying to make a colonization in Mars first. I think it might be hard to get people to go to Mars because I think expensive. Well, they were saying if you go, you can't come back because it's too expensive <laughs> to bring you back. Well, and one of the big issues is how space actually affects the human body. Uh-huh. Right. One of the research projects I'm on, actually, okay, interesting. Um, about how like you um, experience muscle atrophy and like, um, oh my goodness, like loss of bone density mm-hmm. just from being in space for 24 hours. Mm-hmm. So it's a huge, like, we would see a huge decrease in human lifespan if we were living in space. So to prevent that, I... Th- you're saying humans should like get a training before? Um, I mean, there's not really anything you can train for. I mean, it's a problem they have on the uh, International Space Station now too. Yeah. I think we'd have to be much more technologically advanced before we can even consider colonizing. Do you what? think that's like a pressurization problem or what do you think causes the negative health side effects of being in space? It's the way gravity moves the fluids in your body that create, so there are problems you would have like like over 50 years like it's basically like getting old but like super rapid Mm -hmm. just because of how gravity affects your body so it could be fixed possibly by just like making like a pressurized little thing on the move so that's what we're working on actually it's kind of cool it's not exactly like that it's like wearable oh so like the whole suit is like it's kind of cool it's really neat well what if the baby is born in let's say mars um, oh my goodness! There's a show on Amazon actually about this, oh, and it's like what's the name? I, oh, I, I can't remember. What you're saying. I watched it though. Um, Who's the famous actor in that show? I don't know. This is gonna bother me. But basically, they um, it's hyper realistic on how the human body would be formed and like mutate based on growing up in that gravity system. Mute. And it's kind of cool because it's like your spine like compresses and like it, it's really neat. But basically, there would be a lot of issues. Justin, would you, like, let's say, your kids, would you like to have your kids in the Mars? Um, <laughs> if it was, like, the same as Earth, maybe. But it wouldn't be the same as Earth. Well, like, the gravity. Okay. The gravity. Yeah. But, would, yeah, but gravity would, would be like different that. in Mars mm-hmm. than Earth. Well, if they, like, change it somehow. Yeah. So, because <laughs> what I'm thinking of is because... Uh-huh. I think if you have your kids born in Mars, they will body will adapt to its gravity. Mm-hmm. So I think it'd be f- possible as a long term mm-hmm. to live I, on Mars. I can wait for someone else to do it first, 
and then okay. I will do it. I'll try mine it's first. Perfect. Yeah, you're starting 11. <laughs> and they're like two. test runs, right? Yeah. It's all just runs. an experiment. I'll try like three kids, you know. Yeah, you gotta get precision, so you gotta have the three, Definitely. and then if it works, like, mm -hmm. go for accuracy, so you feel good. Like you have to get a funding from NASA for that. Yeah. yeah. I'm sure you could apply. Of course, of course. There's always they would jump work. on that instantaneously. They would I be know. 100%. I, I will contribute as much as I can. Yeah. <laughs> all 11 kids. Yeah, all 11 kids. No. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. Yeah. You'll see, you'll see. If I do it, I'll uh, let you guys know, and you guys will know. 